Namaste. Today I am going to be talking about one of the most common diseases which is often referred to as uh, the silent killer, hypertension. And uh, in the previous video on hypertension, I have explained what is the criteria to stage to diagnose hypertension. And as I told you that blood pressure more than 130 by 80 is termed as hypertension. Blood pressure less than 120, 80 is construed as normal. When somebody comes to our clinic, and we check their blood pressure and find it elevated. Usually it is said, oh, I am tense today. I just climbed up the stairs. I was feeling worried. So probably it is elevated. And at times they say that it is the white coat hypertension. Or when they are at a clinic, when they see a doctor, the uh, fear or the anxiety which induces blood pressure. I ask them, okay, why don't you go home, keep monitoring your blood pressure using a, a BP monitor and chart it down. And uh, after seeing these uh, values, we start with medications. But very often, even those readings may not be accurate. And another phenomena is there, which is called blood pressure variability, which is of a great significance these days. Studies have shown that this BP variability is what is responsible as in the cardiac events, strokes, attacks and so on. It is extremely important for us to keep blood pressure in normal range and throughout the day. Uh, this has special significance in people with resistant hypertension, with people who are pregnant and it definitely does add as a tool for the diagnosis for hypertension. So I'll be talking about ambulatory BP monitoring today. Studies have proved that persistently elevated blood pressure is the cause for heart attacks and strokes and so on. The fluctuating blood pressure is equally important. Uh, that increases the risk. This phenomena is called BP variability. This BP variability is the one which is responsible for plaque formation or atherosclerosis that is uh, cholesterol plaques and uh, thickening of blood vessels which again further leads to reduced blood flow leading to uh, cardiac issues and strokes. In order to recognize these kind of patterns this ambulatory blood pressure monitoring is important. In ambulatory blood pressure monitoring a BP cuff is attached to your arm, the way we measure your blood pressure. And there is a small device uh, which is given to you. And that device is programmed to measure your blood pressure at specific intervals. Say you can program it at 20 minutes, 30 minutes or 1 hour and so on. During your routine activities, you are working in your office, uh, you are climbing your stairs, you are eating, you are sleeping. This uh, process keeps going on. During night, we pro program it to a wider interval so that it doesn't disturb your sleep. If the cuff inflates at night, it may disturb your sleep. But it is important to measure BP even during night. The reason is when you are sleeping, usually blood pressure decreases. And this phenomena is called dipping of the BP. In certain people, this dipping doesn't occur and if the dipping is less than 10%, people are called non-dippers and they are at higher risk of developing these cardiac events, strokes, etc. A lot of uh, fatal myocardial infarctions, massive heart attack and strokes occur early in the morning. This is because of a sudden spike of blood pressure. Ideally, it should be low during that time, but because of this elevated blood pressure, the chances of these events uh, increases. So, if we see in our ambulatory uh, BP monitoring that the nighttime blood pressure is rising, there is a spike happening, we can adjust the BP medications in such a way that blood pressure is kept in check during these hours as well and these cardiac events and strokes could be avoided. And this facility is available at my clinic as well. So if you need to uh, get it done, you can let me know. These days, many of the smartwatches comes with this functionality of uh, measuring your blood pressure. 
but uh, again the sensitivity and specificity of these uh, recordings are uh, not very good uh, more so since they record the blood pressure at the wrist level this variability the subtle changes may not be recorded so the ambulatory bp monitoring that happens with a cuff which is tied at the arm level which is more specific i would like to conclude by saying hypertension or uh, elevated blood pressure is the fundamental disease which causes a lot of issues uh, may it be renal issues or your cardiac issues and strokes and so on so it is important to recognize uh, blood pressure early in its progression and start treatment so that it doesn't cause thinning of the arteries causing aneurysms and bleeds or it doesn't clog the arteries causing thrombosis so it is extremely important to recognize this elevated uh, blood pressure and bp variability early in its progression and control it by diet exercise sleeping well managing stress so that uh, you can lead a comfortable life so be aware take care and bye